Because hypertension and obesity are problems in Russia, health clubs have begun to flourish. Why did you decide to come? I worry about my health. Elena Mokanova is a translator. This single mother of a son not only uses the free state health care, she's also among a small but growing group of people who also has private insurance. Elena says it comes in handy if she wants to see a top specialist or move more quickly through the medical system. Private insurance is something the Albany Tula Alliance Health Tulans established. Uh, here's to your health and to your health too. Elena was also an early participant in preventive care programs, a member of this health club when it was the only one in town. There were lots of people who wanted to get in, so they were supposed to pay their membership fee on the 25th each month. And if you wanted to get in, you called before the 25th and they wrote down your name in pencil. And then if somebody forgot to pay the membership fees, they were out immediately and you took their place. Now, Tula has more than a dozen clubs, and as Tulans work to stay healthy and out of the hospital, Tulan health experts are working to shorten hospital stays. It's an effort supported by the Sister City Project. Average stay of one patient was 19 days. Right now it's 12. It's not because the diseases have become uh, not so severe, but because the methods of treatment are improving and improving. Aiding that improvement, we're told, is an influx of money from Moscow, a national project earmarking funds to upgrade medical equipment and facilities. On a tour through this hospital specializing in cardiac care, we're shown some of that equipment, the telemetry system in the intensive care unit, a new CT scanner. While just one of two for the city of 600,000, we're assured another is being ordered. These tools are critical in the effort to fight cardiovascular disease. The initiative started in this polar clinics. They piloted it here, and first they had just two doctors who were involved in it when the standards and the regulations were developed. And then later, um, not sure exactly about the year, but probably in 2003, uh, with the help of the Albany Tula Alliance, these standards and the program were spread throughout the whole city, and now it's being used everywhere. Infection control is also improved. Disposable goods are proudly displayed, as are antiseptic washes and easy-to-use dispensers, the type you'd see at the door to most American hospital rooms. A number of the doctors we met have either spent time in Albany or enjoyed visits from capital region doctors. And we saw that uh, we don't uh, really have uh, uh, many divergences in this sphere, and that was very interesting for us and important. Tula has two maternity hospitals. This one is being gutted and renovated. Impressed by what they saw on a trip to Bellevue Women's Hospital in Niskayuna, old-fashioned wards are being replaced, mainly by single and double rooms. Extensive tiling of walls will facilitate disinfection and discontinuing the practice of allowing more than one delivery in an OR by building additional ORs. And given the positive demographic situation, we have seen some weak signs of uh, increased birth rates. So with respect to that, this project is also important. After World War II, Tula's birth rate fell till it was about equal with the death rate. So any movement in a positive direction is welcomed. <laughs>